the rookie. Um, how do you feel you did in the series? Mm, honestly, I think I did pretty well, I would say. Um, I wasn't that much stressed because uh, I thought that we could win if we were at our best, as I said yesterday during the interview. Yeah. And I think that's that's okay. what happened. Okay. That's what happened, basically. Um, I think G2 wasn't playing that good either. They were a bit trolling, especially Wonder, I would say, <laughs> without mm, shutting him. Yeah, but he was playing bad. But <laughs> um, so I think it was a bit easier than we might have all expected. And of course, uh, going towards, uh, I won your master in the first split, and now I go towards, uh, this is really amazing what's happening to me. And I'm actually really glad to be part of this team, to have Yamato as a coach, this key as a wonderful teammate, everyone has, everyone has a wonderful teammate too. And I'm really happy. Adam, I want to talk a bit about the top lane matchup, and I want to talk about something that I read on Twitter, um, which was um, when you played Olaf. Uh, I hear that there's a story connected to that, in that you scrimmed G2 actually in K Corp and mm -hmm. picked Olaf. What's up with that? Oh uh, yeah, so I was in K Corp, so we indeed scrimmed G2, and I blind picked uh, Olaf, right? And I think it was uh, playoffs for G2, playoffs time, it, because it was EU Masters for me. Yeah. So I blind picked Olaf and. Um, Wonder considered that it would be useless practice for him to pick a correct jump against Olaf. So he actually picked Yumi <laughs> just to troll his teammates. So, I mean, not to troll, but like he uh, apparently don't want to play the game. And uh, maybe uh, he should have picked a good jump, so he would have practiced more against my Olaf today. Mm -hmm. And I heard that you put in chat when you played Olaf. Yeah, I was. Where's yeah, Yumi? I wrote uh, no Yumi such. Okay, yeah. I see. Um, uh, how do you enjoy the mental warfare of everything and kind of the pressure and playing around with it? Which kind of pressure? Sorry? Uh, just the pressure you have, but it seems that you kind of like it. It seems that you get better because of it with the pressure on your shoulders. I I'm of course referring also to your Darius in Game 5. Yeah, of course. Um, when there's a lot of pressure on me, um, I mean, I would say that pressure helps me to perform better because uh, I'm putting 100% uh, of my mindset in the game and I won't let anything distract me. Uh, I was actually really stressed before the game. I was breathing a lot, uh, closing my eyes, trying to only think about the game. And um, this made me think about the Darius pick. Uh, <laughs> playing Darius would make me so confident. Uh, and also, like uh, playing Darius for a ticket towards, uh, I couldn't expect uh, more coming. Like, it's a, it's a really big gift that, uh -huh. uh, that I allowed myself to. And uh, also, I'm really glad that my team allowed me to play Darius because, of course, uh, I had trust in me, but my teammates had, uh, how to say, had to had had to have trust on me, yeah, and um, I'm I'm really happy that they let me. Yeah, I do want to ask you one more question about your gameplay, which is that uh, you seem incredibly willing to leave your lane, sack your lane for the good of the team. It's actually nuts because uh, I feel like you've showcased that you can put on the carry performance, you can counter pick, you can play weak side, you can just leave your lane. I think a lot of top laners would say. Uh, excuse me, I'm catching this wave. Um, you know, is that something that you've always done, or is that something that's kind of grown because of the team uh, synergy? <laughs> Honestly, I think uh, that I'm not thinking when I go meet. Uh, I just <laughs> no, 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 but, but like I, I'm just thinking like, what's the more natural play for me, uh, and what's the most efficient play that I can make, either catching or uh, I don't know, go meet, going meet. Like, uh, I think that I. I personally don't care if I like if I have to sacrifice a, w a wave or two just to help my team to create a, an even more big advantage because usually I'm not the guy that will win the game um I'm I just have to help my team basically and um then when I go back in into the lane I just have to make sure that uh, I will still be better than the opponent basically <laughs> uh because like um if you if I just smash the enemy top by staying in my lane, it's not like I'm just smashing this guy. It's right, but if I smash him while being behind already, it's even more grateful for me, uh, and it shows that I'm even more better than him. Uh -huh. it's, it's not that I just solo kill this guy. Uh, I'm just right better than him, right. and I just need to to have this feeling that I'm that I'm way better than this guy. Ah, is this why in game five you got solo killed? to then TP back. Yeah, of course. Like, right. Uh, like, I let him kill me. <laughs> so then, <laughs> so then like, he has uh, confidence growth. Yeah. And, like, which uh, makes him troll, basically. <laughs> so I kill him back, and then I take a solo kill. A second time. 
<laughs> but he doesn't get it back. No. Because I'm better, right? Sure. And I gave him an advantage. And then he's ahead of me, right? He's, he's ahead, Yamato. And you roam mid as yeah. well. Then I roam in to put me <laughs> even more behind. And this guy, I don't come to side when he pushes because I help my team, right? And then, like, I just, I'm just better in, than him in team fight, <laughs> right? And it's like all these little things that make me feel that I'm better than him. Yeah. Niski, what a funny guy. Yeah, I mean, actually in game five, he was like, I'm roaming mid and I'm like, no, please, please, please. Like, your wave is pushing to you, you can chill. He's like, he doesn't care. And then he comes mid, we like, hell, I'm like, okay, game is over here. Like, good job, Adam. <laughs>